What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to a brand new weapon for War Robots coming to the test server tomorrow together with a rebalance for shotgun weapons to make it more base for short range. Um, before we have a match on my own War Robots account, let me show you what I'm talking about. We have the Atomizer here, uh, which is an energy machine gun with unlimited ammo. High accuracy makes it effective at medium range too, but... After firing long bursts, so for a long time, the gun overheats and becomes less accurate. You will still be able to fire, so in short range the weapon can still perform really well and probably the same, but in long range you will lose accuracy and have a high spread and you will stop to hit enemies very well. Um, so at long range it's not going to be a very very good sniper weapon for long, but at five well 500 meters isn't a sniper anyways, but um, long, medium range basically for, uh, for but for a while you can use it very well even at that range. Stats level 8 are 390 damage per shot and a shot interval of 0.1 seconds, so 10 shots per second pretty much, and endless ammo. Okay, this is how the weapon will look like, pretty cool, and we're gonna test this tomorrow on the test server, so guys, stay tuned on the channel for this video that we will have tomorrow, and subscribe if you haven't done that yet, and uh, let's go to the other information about the rebalance with shotguns, and then I'm jumping into the one match with you here on my own War Robots account. Um, and uh, the rebalance is made so that the shotgun weapons will... Uh, will be a bit less universal, which is interesting because that's exactly what I spoke about in the last live stream. I don't think that they are able to be that fast with uh, with uh, making a test server for it, so they were probably already planning this anyways. Uh, but I did say that the, the, the shotguns are completely universal. Uh, if you want to have the best, you just run shotguns. They're somehow the pellets reach 500 meters per far, which in my opinion makes no sense at all. Even if, the, even if they reach 500 meters, the, shot, the, the firepower and penetration value of these little pellets that the shotgun fires shouldn't even be able to scratch the paint of a robot anymore at that range. Somehow they still do that. That's nothing that they're not changing that though. What they're changing is uh, they're increasing the dispersion, so the spread of the shotgun a little bit by 10%. It's not a crazy increase, it's a tiny bit more, more spread. Okay, um, but what the real deal is, the, um, the, the, shot, the, the burst damage goes higher, so the shots do more damage per shot, and you fire faster too. So if you get close to your enemy, you can even do more damage now with the shotguns than before, but the reload interval is longer. So instead of having a, 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 the gust, for example, instead of reloading a shot every second, you will reload a new shot every 1.8 seconds. That's an 80% increase of reloading time for each in next shot. So you'll st you'll do ex immense damage for a short time, but then you also run into the reloading cycle where your DPS drops. And that's the same thing that happens with other weapons too, right? A weapon that, like a Punisher. Well, a Punisher can, in theory, do a lot of damage, and it can do a lot of damage relatively quickly, but then it reloads, and then the DPS drops significantly because the, the reload takes so long time, you know? And the shotguns now get a similar problem where, or not problem, but a similar effect where they also seem to drop, you know, drop significantly in damage output once they reload, uh, once they re reach the, the, uh, the bottom of their drum and their magazine, and they have to live from the reload shots, you know? And, um, and the gust will basically, and that's the crazy thing, they increase the damage even, right? Also, Halo gets even more damage per shot, which is crazy, they already do so much. Um, and they fire yet even faster than they do before. So getting close with these shotguns, you can pretty much just one-tap someone, bum 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 bum, and he's gone. Um, even more so than you did before. Um, but you have a bit more spread and the reload takes a bit longer, so you can no longer mow through countless enemy robots without ever having a problem because now you will eventually run into this lower damage output state with a reload, you know? So, Halo also gets faster shooting, um, more dispersion, but more damage per shot, but here the 1.8 seconds reload, okay? And you can kind of really well see here the difference between Halo and Gust. Ha Halo bypasses energy shield, 
can lock down and has the horizontal cone angle of what of spread which is better all three pros that the halo has and somehow it's still able to do more damage than gust which clearly shows halo is supposed to be the higher end variant that is supposed to do better in every regard which is always something that i don't like very much let's be honest in my opinion any weapon should be equally effective and just different so the, okay, Halo can sh bypass energy shields, has the better cone spread angle, and has the lockdown effect, okay? But the Gust will simply do more brute damage. Boom, okay? That's how I would balance it. But um, Gust does not seem to... It's, it's, it's just not supposed to do as good as Halo, it seems, right? But anyways, let's keep going here with Storm. In Storm, and that's the weird thing, we have a different uh, um, thing happening here. Storm does more damage than than Corona does. <laughs> it's, it's completely reversed here. However, uh, it, the Storm loses ammo in the drum. It's, it no, no longer has, has eight shots in the drum. It will now have only five. And I think that Corona also has five already. And Storm had the longer shooting so far. Uh, I have Storm here on my Nemesis, as you see. And, um, and it had... Uh, I'm not sure, does it say in the details how many shots it did? No. That's also something Pixonic, in case you're seeing this, the stats are really incomplete. There's no information as to how many shots are exactly in the drum and, uh, and, and things like that. The spread isn't really explained. There are so many information missing here. Maybe you could update the stats to really show a very accurate display of what the weapon is doing exactly, you know? Uh, I would uh, appreciate that. Um, um, but yeah, so the uh, the storm will lose three shots of its clip. Will instead of eight, it will have only five shots. The shot interval goes uh, slower, so it will fire slower than before, uh, and the reload goes up to two seconds. Um, dispersion increases, but the damage also increases. And Corona shot interval from one second to two seconds. Wait, what? So Corona fires. Wait, shot interval 0 0.5 seconds. No, 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 I got this wrong. Storm fires faster. Instead of every 0 0.5 sec 0 0.7 seconds, it fires every 0 0.5. And the Corona fires... Um, oh, wait, there's no shot interval given, okay? I think uh, Corona already fires at 0 0.5. So they probably fire at the same speed now. Uh, if I... I think so. And reload is uh, going higher on Storm and reload... Interval also goes higher on Corona. Same value, two seconds every uh, every shot is regenerated after two seconds, uh, and then higher damage output, but a little a little a bit less than Storm. Interesting, cool. I like that. I I think Storm should do better in terms of damage because Corona has a lockdown effect and the energy bypass, you know, shield bypass. Thunder, however, still does horrible. Um, but it's it's it at least it's getting made a bit better. We have a. A reload interval that is slightly increased, so it reloads every shot a little bit slower, but not as slow as as much of an increase as Glory experiences. Shot dispersion, of course, and more damage per shot. But here's the real deal: the Glory goes from 1.6 second shot reload to 2.2, and dispersion 10%, and then the H damage per shot is 16,000 pretty much from 14,400 before, and uh, the Thunder is still. 4,000 damage shorter, 4,200 damage shorter than Glory. Where why didn't why Pixonic? Why aren't you doing it the same way that Thunder, uh, that Storm and Corona do it, right? Why aren't you giving the Thunder more damage per shot? Because it doesn't have these three other advantages that I explained already a few times, um, and uh, and instead it just has more brute damage force, right? It just does more damage a bit more, but it can't lock down, it can't energy bypass shields, and it can't have the better spread angle. That would be uh, my thing. But anyways, this is tested tomorrow, so I'll be running a shotgun hangar tomorrow, and also of course the new atomizer energy. Uh, no, is it an? It's an energy machine gun, so it will also bypass energy shields. And, um, I don't know, why are we so having so many weapons that bypass shields? Like, shields are becoming next to Im useless now, with like every, s m more than every second weapon bypasses the shields these days. 
Shouldn't the shields always have a bit of their own uh, value? Should you not always benefit from equipping a, um, what's it called? from equipping uh, an Ansel shield onto your robot, you should always get something for it, right? But if you now equip an Ansel shield to your robot, you lose a heavy weapon slot and you gain nothing for it in, in most cases because most weapons just bypass the shield completely. That's uh, a bit sad if you ask me. All right, see this, this guy right there? This guy who's flying in. Fire and boom. What? That was a very little damage. Oh no, we have here this, uh, the little blitz robot coming up. I'm trying to lock him. Okay, come on. Yep, he is locked. Nice, that worked. Now he's face shifting. He's trying to do his suppression now. Uh, he is here with me. I need help. I need this guy's help. Come on. Help me out here, sir. Jesus, he just killed me almost completely. Now I get his help. Now that I would have done it myself. Wonderful. And boom. Okay, I got this one guy <laughs> before I died. <laughs> Alright, let's spawn in here with this thing. And do some scourging. So uh, tell me in the comments, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about this, uh, this, this rebalance of the shotguns? I know that there's a lot of people who love shotguns, and uh, I, I kind of like the idea of shotguns too. The only, thing, the only problem I have is that the shotguns were too universal. Um, uh, with like, wh why do they even go 500 meters? That, that is a fair question, isn't it? Why do they even go that far? Does it even make sense? Shouldn't they just be purely short range? I mean, they're shotguns, aren't they? They should go far. So, it seems like right now we're losing the match. Okay, I'm just trying to do some sweet damage here. Uh, no, I lost my targeting. Uh... I'm trying to kill him here. Uh, come on, staying within his shield here to <laughs> not give him a chance to regenerate that. Now we're on the beacon behind the enemy, and they don't know. They don't know we're here. It seems with like no HP at all. I'm capturing this beacon. Ah! <laughs> Go away! This guy was what? He hit me. How the hell did he? <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> Let's go and uh, use the nemesis. It's the arch nemesis, yes. So we're attacking the enemy from behind here, which is a good good thing. Always a good thing to do. Okay, then we're bringing up the shield here, and we're then we're hitting this this guy here. Man, we're doing some major pain for these dudes. So the storm is still good, but it won't be for much longer. The storm will lose significant amounts of their firepower. Uh-oh, I need to get out of this guy's uh Stuff range. Okay, bringing up the shield here. Uh oh, they have a, a healing robot right there. But I get, I'm getting him anyways. Nice. So here comes. Uh oh, oh, he can fire through that, huh? Okay. Oh, uh, that was a nice move, sir. That was an insanely nice move. What? I'm can I can wa I can't move. Oh man, I got stuck there completely. Trying to do here a great job against this Titan. Come on, Titan, get killed. Boom. Okay, we got him. Now we can capture the Titan. Oh man, there's another Titan spawning in immediately. Yeah, sure. Of course. <laughs> oh my god. Why is there another Titan immediately? I don't understand. So he can get me now with his, with his thing. Yeah, I was, thankfully I just had the, the thing up in that very moment. The shield. So I'm hoping that his shield will break, uh, break any moment now. Come on, yep, the shields are broken. We can finally kill this thing. Alright, now, one of my most powerful robots I still have in the battle. Which I can use to turn this match completely around. Is this an enemy? No. <laughs> I was like, oh god, no, he f they found me. Alright, you know what? Let's go and, uh, and do what we're supposed to do with a fast robot that has the option 
to go and change their battlefield super quickly. Right? It is also my most powerful combat machine, so I can really just uh, destroy enemies very well with that thing. And I think we're winning. We're, we seem to be winning this match. Oh my god. I'm, I'm, I'm really seeing every Titan, right? I'm really getting every type. Now that he's bringing up his weapons, I may as well just walk around the corner here. So he's out of range. I'm reloading my weapon. And afterwards, this guy's weapon, this, this guy's resistance will drop. Here it is. His resistance is down. Now I can hurt him better. Every damage I do now is much more than it would have been if I had uh, fired at him before. So here we go. And with the dashes, we can constantly get out of these guys' range. Uh, or, or get in range. Getting the last beacon they still have. A Natasha drops in, but it was a sniper Natasha. This guy would be an easy kill for me. He's going to do some damage to us, of course, but... Um, we can kill him, no problem. Oh man, that's just a Leo. What? How is he still alive? What? <laughs> okay, the legs are real. But yeah, so um, the shotgun rebalance, tell me what you think. And of course, the new weapon at, at, at Atomizer. <laughs> oh man, that word. <laughs> to get it. The next, next weapon uh, in, uh, in, in, in summer comes out. It's called Brutalizer. <laughs> man, the weapons are getting more and more crazy in terms of their names, right? Uh, isn't that here the girl from Frozen? So yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. Oh god, how many windows? And uh, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for being with you guys. Are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye bye.